everyone. In honor of National Hug Your Cat Day, which is June 4th, um, which is today we are going to make a nifty little cat craft that can be framed. Um, you know, you love your cat to the moon and stars and back, so that's what we're going to do. So for today's crafty activity, what you're going to need is a adult, if you're going to use a hot glue gun and you're not comfortable doing that. So we need one hot glue gun and some extra glue sticks, nice and warmed, ready to go. You'll also need a piece of um, black or dark colored cardboard, cardstock, or construction paper. Um, a little bit oversized. We want our paper or cardboard to be um, longer than it is tall, so we want a nice rectangular shape. We're also going to need um, some felt, different color felt. You'll need some yellows, um, and then whatever color you'd like your cat's face to be. You will also need um, denim. So if you have an old pair of jeans that you don't have any use for, just cut them up. We're actually going to make our cat's body out of denim today. In addition to that, you'll need some string or cord to make some whiskers, also to hang your stars from. I'm going to use different flat ribbons, small flat ribbons. Feel free to use more felt or if you have fabric. Um, or if you want to do some fabric paints on your cat, you can do that as well. I'm also going to use a stencil today to draw some stars because I'm not quite sure on my um, star making ability to have straight lines. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to need a Sharpie, especially if you're drawing on fabric. You can try a fabric pencil. I'm not sure on felt how well that's going to work. And our trusty scissors to get started. So for this project, what you're going to do first once you have your cardboard or work surface to size, is to draw the body of your cat. And basically your cat is going to look kind of like a vase. We're going to have this sort of shape to it. In addition to that, you're going to want to draw a couple ears. Try to maximize the use of your fabric. Draw towards the edge, not right in the middle. I do have some extra fabric on the side of my cat's body, so I'm going to put my ears over there. All right, once I have my ears drawn, which I'll need two of them, I'm going to start cutting out. Make sure you have sharp shears, um, preferably not your all-purpose junk drawer scissors unless they're really sharp, kind of like what I've got, but some actual fabric shears that'll whip right through the material. So we're just going to cut around the outside um, you notice when I did draw on the backs that the Sharpie did not come through the front of my fabric. That's really important because when we finish our artwork, we don't want our drawing lines to be on the exterior. We want them behind the scenes. So we're just going to cut our pieces out. When I have these cut, we'll get to step two. I've completed step one. I have my cat body on my denim. I also have two ears, little pointed ears for my cat as well. Our next step is to actually, actually draw the face of our cat. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of complete the muzzle. Um, on, I'm using white felt, you can use whatever color you want, plus some eyes. So if you have a circular stencil, which I don't seem to have with me right now, so we're going to wing it, um, we're just going to do some eyes. The whites of the eyes and they can be as big or as small as you like. Remember when you're doing this please put your designs on the edge of the fabric so that you get more use out of it. All right so as you can see I have my two circles for my eyes. Now my cat's gonna be a little bit cartoonish so my eyes aren't quite the same shape and I have my muzzle here at the bottom which is kind of oval shaped. Um, before I get to cutting again, I'm actually going to stencil out a few stars. I'm going to use my um, darker yellow for my stars. So where did my star stencil go? There we are. Using the edge of the fabric. 
I think what I'm going to do are two smaller stars and two bigger stars, just to have something a little different. So my two smaller stars and then my bigger star. So I have my stars for my design, my artwork. Now the next step is to actually create a moon. And what we want to do is create a moon that the cat can sit on as part of our picture for today. So taking a look at my fabric. We're just going to draw a banana shaped moon, a crescent moon. the best of our ability on this one. And don't worry if you mess up, our cat will be sitting on it. All right. Make sure that we do a good job of cutting because on this shade of yellow, we can actually see my drawing through it. So I'm going to cut more towards the inside of the lines so that you don't see them. All right, I'm gonna get this cut, get all our pieces out, and then we'll start arranging them on our board. Okay, so we've got everything cut out. I've got all my pieces. I've transferred my camera down towards the work surface so you guys can see. What we're going to do is kind of position everything out before we start putting our pieces and gluing them down. So basically, we're going to try to put our moon and our cat um, towards the bottom of, ooh, of our um, cardboard, paper, whatever you're using, and put the moon down first. We are going to glue in layers. We're going to put our cat down, kind of position him or her. So your moon should be kind of crescent shaped um, so that your cat is sitting on or a little bit over the edge of the moon. And what we're going to do is actually design our cat so that he's looking up at the stars. What I would suggest is actually tucking ears in underneath our face a little bit. Kind of get them going whichever way you want to. Some cats have crazy ears. Um, we're going to save the eyes for last. You can do the eyes either the color of your face or if your cat has like green eyes you could do something like that. Um, I forgot to cut mine out first and foremost so I need to get on that and just kind of position our stars in the sky. So you can do any sort of combination that you want. I'm actually going to whoop, push my paper down a little bit. My paper is 10 by 15. I think if I had to do it over again I would make my paper a little bit longer. And basically from the upper corner of your paper, depending on which side you're placing your cat, you're going to have your stars hanging down. And we'll hot glue those on. 
and we're going to use some cord ribbon to use as hangers for the stars. So once you have your basic shapes in place, you can begin gluing your project together. So I have most of my pieces glued down. I've actually been gluing around the edges to make sure that they're on nice and smooth. Um, just have a few pieces left to go to um, glue down. And like I said earlier, we're going to do the ears before we do the face. And don't worry if you're using hot glue with the little glue strings, we can pull those off. Um, if you're using white glue, clear glue, something crafting glue that takes a little bit longer to um, dry, that's not a problem either. Um, it just might take you a little bit longer to complete this project and be able to pick it up and show everybody what you've made. So I've just put the ears on. My next step is to put the face. Now when you're making this cat project, you don't have to use the same materials I'm using. Use whatever you've got at home. If you've got scrapbooking paper, construction paper, felt, fabric, totally up to you what you make your project out of. And if things aren't quite perfect, we'll fix them. Okay, I have lots of little glueys all around. I'm actually going to wait to put the eyes on. Um, my next step, I'm going to show this to you guys now, it's not all that pretty. Um, I have my cat with my stars. Um, our next step is actually to decorate our cat. And to do that, we're going to use different colored thin um, Ribbon, you can also use different fab fabrics if you want to cut strips. You can use fabric paints. You could try Sharpies as well if you wanted to just color it in. I'm trying to keep my project mostly fabric today. So what we're going to do is just open up um, our ribbon and actually start measuring out. And we're gonna just do stripes. And we're actually going to do stripes on just our denim pieces. So I'm just going to measure, kind of get a shape and length um, for my ribbon. And we're just going to go on through and make our cat a tabby cat using different colored ribbon. Feel free to get really creative, use lots of different colored ribbon. I have bunches of different colored ribbon. Um, and we're just going to very carefully glue our ribbon to our cat. And even though it's National Hug Your Cat Day, don't feel like you're limited to just making a cat. You can do a cow jumping over the moon. You can have your goat or your pig sitting on the moon. You know, chickens make great moon critters. Um, so feel free to get creative. So I'm just going to put some stripes on my cat. Um, finish that up. Once we're finished with that, then we'll work on the face and finish up with um, the cording or string, whatever you're using, to hang our stars and make some whiskers. All right, as I'm putting my stripes on my cat, pro tip, if I had to do this over, I think I would have just glued on strips of ribbon um, onto the body. And before I glued the body to the cardboard, I would have just trimmed off the excess um, ribbon from the back going along the edges of the cat's body. So what I'm actually doing is just using my Sharpie marker to kind of mark um, where the edges are and just cutting off the excess before I glue it on. We're going to put stripes all up and down the ears and all up and down the cat's body. The patchwork stripes on my cat using my ribbon. Uh, my next step is to glue on the eyes and then I'm also going to glue on some string coming down from the top for my stars, as well as put on some string for my whiskers and my tail. Now to do that, I'm actually gonna turn my picture upside down so that I can work um, from the top down for my stars. I am going to use a thin elastic cord um, for my hangers. And what I'm simply going to do is wherever I want my hangers to come down to, 
I'm just going to run a line of hot glue. Not too thick if you're not using something that is fairly thick. Um, I might have a little too much, but then I know it's not coming off either. So I'm just going to set it in. Let the glue dry. If you want to, if you feel that you need to, after you're done gluing and your hot glue is dry, you can actually take the extra hot glue and paint it black or whatever the color of your background is so you don't see it. I'm simply going to do that for all of my stars. It's up to you. You can also grab a ruler and do a lot of measuring um, to put this project together. Be really cool if you had a shooting star you could actually do one big star and then have all of this string coming off as like a tail to your shooting star we're simply just going to lay the last one in make sure it's pressed down don't worry about the little glue strings those come off later All right, so I have my hangers on my stars. The next thing is to do the whiskers on my cat. And my eyes, can't forget to put my eyes on. All right, whiskers. Now what you're going to want to do is have something that's fairly the same length. What I'm going to suggest is cutting um, three pieces of whatever you're using for your whiskers. Gonna get a little wild. My cat's gonna have some silver and blue whiskers. Grabbing them all in your fingers, folding them in half so that the ends are even. What I would recommend is where they bend, just taking your scissors and cutting. That way you have six whiskers, um, all approximately the same size. Now, because I have silver and blue, what I'm going to do is put my blue ones in the middle of my silver ones. Your whiskers, you're going to glue to your board. And they're all going to kind of come out the same area, but fan out a little bit once they get away from your cat. This, if you're going to bend them, you might have to hold on a little bit. Mine tend to be a little bit long for my cat, so what I'm going to do is just glue them down part way. When the glue is dry, actually cut the excess off. Remember, hot glue is hot. Try not to burn yourself while you're doing this. If you're doing another animal and not a cat, you can um, always use different materials for the different parts of your animals. So roughly about the same spot on your face. Just on the other side, I should have said that.
It's okay if you have excess hot, excess hot glue. We can peel it when we're done. All right, so we're gonna let our whiskers dry. We're going to put our eyes on. Now, if you wanted to, you can make the center of your eyes a different color with felt or um, some of the ribbon that you have. I'm just going to use my Sharpie marker. Put my eyes on. So let them dry. While they're drying, we have to put a nose on our kitty. So I'm just gonna grab a piece of the ribbon I had. Um, I have some heart shapes. And what I'm going to do is just kind of create a um, diamond shape that we're going to put up in between the no or the eyes on the nose, for the nose. Now using our Sharpie, we're going to make the center of our eyes. Making sure that you kind of stay with the shape and size of your eyes that you've made. I'm also going to use my Sharpie to put on a mouth. Um, you can do something a little fancier with your ribbon or your cord if you'd like. So we're just going to draw on a little bit of a smile. And if your whiskers are dry and they're a little long, you want to trim them up, you can. Feel free to pull off your little glue strings uh, from your hot glue gun. Right, getting my little glue strings off. And there you have it. A patchwork cartoon cat artwork for Hug Your Cat Day. To find out more about Shenango County 4-H, visit us on our Facebook page, Shenango County 4-H, and our YouTube channel, Shenango County 4-H. Have a great day.